And at the time, you know, it felt like I was taking it very seriously, uh, helping with a number of, of student issues, especially affordability. Mm -hmm. And what uh, year in college? That was, was so. That was two thousand seven to two thousand eight. Oh, okay. And um, I had uh, women like Governor Madeline Cunin, our only female governor mm -hmm. in Vermont, and other legislators come to me and say, "Look." You're the student body president. You teach preschool in town. You're really involved on boards and commissions in the city. You're qualified to run for the legislature, even if you don't believe it. And at the time, I was a senior, and uh, I, I took it really seriously. It was the start of the Great Recession. Mm -hmm. Young people needed a voice. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of us were struggling to figure out what we were going to do mm -hmm. uh, with you know, our futures and what our opportunities we would have. So I ran for a seat in the legislature, and I challenged incumbents. Mm. And uh, you know, I was I was underestimated pretty early. Mm -hmm. I was called a kitten with lipstick, mm -hmm. and I ended up uh, winning that seat by the largest margin of any challenger in wow. the state that year. And you are the uh, youngest elected state official, right, in the history of Vermont? Uh, no, I spent a long time as the youngest elected official of the time. Uh -huh. um, you know, when I was elected in 2009, I was 22. Mm -hmm. um, or sorry, I was elected in 2000. 2008 and took my seat in 2009. I was 22, mm -hmm. and uh, I spent a long time as the young, youngest elected official in the in the current period. Mm -hmm. But there have been a couple Vermont legislators who were elected at 19 wow. in the past. Okay. Um, and New England know is known know. for you know having some younger folks end up uh, representing districts. So um, I was the youngest in the legislature for a long time, mm -hmm. and now I'm you know, proud not to be right. having been there for eight years. I was hoping some younger folks would come along. And they have. They have. They have. We have one member younger than me, okay. um, others who have run. But you know, I, I've spent my entire 20s in the Vermont House of Representatives. It's a pretty unique Amazing. experience. Yeah. <laughs> so now, what is your district like? My district is what folks might call the University Hill section and Old North End of Burlington. Mm -hmm. It's a really diverse mix of young people, people who have lived in the community for a long time and are permanent residents in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. and even a lot of new Americans and um, refugees and immigrants who've come as part of our refugee resettlement program. Mm -hmm. So Coming I, from mostly where? Often um, it changes from year to year. So we have a lot of Bhutanese Nepali mm -hmm. refugees and I've worked with them on an effort to create a, a Vermont's first Hindu temple. Mm -hmm. um, but we Yay! have, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we have uh, Somali refugees, Sudanese refugees. Uh, early we had Vietnamese refugees who are now more integrated in the community, mm -hmm. Bosnian refugees. Mm -hmm. So it's a really, it's Burlington's become quite diverse. There's over 70 languages spoken in our school district. That's amazing. And as somebody who was raised by an immigrant parent who owned a small business, mm -hmm. um, I felt I was really able to bridge those worlds. Well, you know, in terms of uh, just the demographics of Vermont. Watch the remaining show on ITV Gold. Subscribe to ITV Gold on Time Warner Cable Channel 1539. ITV Gold is America's first full-time television channel that caters to the South Asian community. Your favorite dramas with English subtitles. Watch movies, back-to-back -back songs, award-winning local news coverage, and much, much more. Subscribe to ITV Gold on Time Warner Cable Channel 1539, part of the 8-channel combo pack for $39.95. And our East Coast viewers can also subscribe to ITV on RCN Channel 476 and Cablevision on channel 1168.